It's time now for a preview of what's coming to a theater near you. Kylie Erica Marr from Made in Hollywood is here, and I have to tell you, our first movie <laughs> kind of dates me because as a young girl, I love the show Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say not as a young girl, as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Wonder Woman hitting the big screen has never been more meaningful than this year, and mm -hmm. for that reason, it's tracking really well. Mm -hmm. Just to put it into perspective, it's going to have a bigger opening than Marvel's Ant-Man. Really? And it's just on par with the first Captain America and Thor. So that's oh, a really big deal yeah. for a Warner Brothers DC superhero film, and mm -hmm. the first ever female-led superhero film. And the film is about Wonder Woman before she was Wonder Woman. So oh. first, she was Diana, princess of the Amazons, and after an American pilot washes ashore, telling of conflict in the outside world, she decides to leave her home for London to fight a war to end all wars. And the movie actually doesn't come out until next weekend, okay. so you have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> a little more suspense. Yes, but Made in Hollywood's Julie Harkness Arnold sat down with Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot. As an actress, what was important to you to bring out about this woman? It was important for me that everyone would be able to relate to her, not only women and girls, but also men and boys. And it was important for me that she will be a warm character, that she'll be warmth and loving and, and full of compassion, and also to show her imperfection. But she must never know the truth about what she is. Costumes like different. Really I mean, every girl has been Wonder Woman at some point for Halloween, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but the costume's so different. Yes. But I'm sure we'll get used to it. Okay, next movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Yes, so it looks like the hackers didn't get the ransom money oh. from Disney after all. Remember, okay. it was being held mm -hmm. captive, kind of. Um, so this is actually the fifth installment of the big blockbuster series. Supposedly, Johnny Depp's last film Ooh. as Captain Jack Sparrow. He's on the hunt for the Trident of Poseidon. And this film's actually already doing really well. We're looking at about a 75 to 80 million dollar opening wow. because of the added boost of the Memori Memorial Day uh, four day weekend. Mm -hmm. And Made in Hollywood's Patrick Stinson didn't actually get to talk to Johnny Depp, unfortunately. He wasn't available for interviews. He was busy at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did get to sit down with one of the other stars of the film, Kaya Scottolario. This movie really kind of took me back to the very beginning. Like, it gave me that feel and that flavor of the first one. Cool. I'm glad. I think that's what we set out to do. Uh, we wanted to get that comedy back and that banter, uh, that sense of adventure and, and just a pirate's life and what it means. I think this will be great for a new generation. I'm searching for a pearl, a girl, and a sparrow. And finally, Captain Underpants, the first <laughs> epic movie. Yes, so this is an animated film about two overly imaginative pranksters who mm. accidentally hypnotize their principal into thinking that he's an incredibly enthusiastic and dim-witted captain, <laughs> a superhero, Captain Underpants. So mm -hmm. I think it's like perfect for the family, perfect for the kids this weekend. Made in Hollywood's Patrick Stinson got to sit down with two of our favorite comedians, Kevin Hart and Ed Helms. In this movie, I really like the fact, though, it is about friendship and kind of creativity mm -hmm. and teamwork and work, working together. Like, these guys have a solid friendship. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's really, it's as close as it gets, you know? If you're going to get in trouble, you want to get in trouble with somebody. It's about friendship and creativity and, um, and responsibility in a weird way. And it's their friendship that gets them through life. Yeah. Do something! Put the pin down, Mr. Krupp, or we'll hypnotize you. <laughs> that film also comes out next weekend as well. Okay, it looks so, like it's going to be a lot yes. of fun, especially for the kids. All right, Kylie, thank you thank so you. much. And of course, you can see Made in Hollywood on Sunday at 1 o'clock right here on KCAL 9. We'll be right back with a look at your top stories.